the Caribbean Sea off the coast of Central America. The Belize Barrier Reef stretches more than 250 kilometers and is the second largest reef system in the world. The protected ecosystem is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to hundreds of species of fish. A more recent arrival is the lionfish. Native to the waters off Asia and Australia, this incomer is breeding at a rapid rate in the Caribbean Sea and threatening the fragile ecological balance as a result. Lionfish have voracious appetites. They basically are indiscriminate feeders. They will just eat anything they come across. And they have this predation strategy which fish here don't recognize. The way they hover with their fins flared, their huge gulping mouth which sucks the fish inside. Um, so these fish in the Caribbean have no idea that this lionfish is going to eat them. And these are usually juveniles, so it's um, potentially devastating for the fish community. And then the knock-on effects to the rest of the coral reef are just enormous. What is now regarded as an infestation started in Florida in the 80s, when a handful of lionfish kept in aquariums ended up in the sea. Since then, the insatiable predators have been eating their way through their host waters. They were first spotted off Belize six years ago. Lionfish breed every four days and have no natural enemies. But hidden in their striking fins are venomous spines. An encounter with a lionfish can be a painful experience, as a fisherman tells us. on the spear and then whenever I was going to get it it slid down the spear and it juked me in my hand here it poked me in my hand and then my finger it's not so bad just the first time when it poke you just like uh, like, a, like a pinch but then the poison comes in and it hurts like like fire it feels like fire or like lava it hurt a lot I just don't shoot them anymore. I don't them. Not at all. If stocks are to be managed, it's important that fishermen overcome their fear of the prickly pariah. For the past three years, Jennifer Chapman from the NGO Blue Ventures has been encouraging fishermen in northern Belize to try something new. So, hi. We're speaking about a new fishery and not everybody necessarily believes in it from the beginning so it's very important to have a good open relationship be honest about what the opportunities which do and don't exist what may exist in the future um, don't make false promises things like that for the marine biologist that means explaining that lionfish present an alternative to seasonal seafood such as mussels and lobsters it also means talking about the venomous spines can you see any spines here? These fishermen are pretty pragmatic in their approach to the lionfish. Imagine what would happen if we couldn't catch the lionfish. They'd end up taking over our fishing territory. Increasing numbers of fishermen see lionfish as an opportunity and are killing them before they ruin their business. Although the venomous spines can be cut off, there needs to be a consumer demand for the fish. The island of Kay Cocker is a Belize tourist center. Residents there have heard of lionfish, but have they eaten one? Fish is poisonous, so that's what I know about it. It's very dangerous, it's not good for our consumption. Did you ever eat it? The fishermen take their catch of the day to the closest restaurant. But the kitchen staff is not sure what to do with it. We're gonna leave this here, right? <laughs> a bit scary, because I don't think we ever cook that kind of food. For the first time, they're faced with the reputedly inedible fish. Like a 
land animal, the head of it, like mouth usually like comes out. It doesn't go up oh. like that. And this is a bit Completely different. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they decide to give it a go. They fry the fish and even try it. Yes, that tastes like chewy. It tastes nice. It tastes nice. Well, yeah. really big. Lionfish has long featured on the menus in the village of Sataneya. In Pablito's restaurant, a fillet of fish with rice, beans, and cabbage salad is an old favorite. And more than 100 dishes are served each week. Blue Ventures wants to see the same success all across Belize. Well, one thing that we're really working on is to try and increase the domestic demand outside of Sartaneja, because at the moment, the majority of domestic demand actually comes from within this, this community. There is demand elsewhere, but um, we want to try and expand it and get it, get the demand everywhere. <laughs> it's believed to be impossible to completely clear the Caribbean Sea of lionfish, but it may finally have met its first real enemy. Man.